Hello, my name is Henry Shuck. I'm the founder and CEO of Zoom Info. And today on In Your Corner, I'm going to show you how to leverage G2 intent directly inside of Zoom Info so that you can find a company that's researching your products and services on G2, marry that to a buying committee at Zoom Info, and then launch a campaign. So this should be a familiar page for you. This is the Zoom Info uh, advanced search screen. What you'll notice if you're a G2 customer is that right here on the left-hand side is now a G2 buyer intent module. Down here, I can uh, choose a visit date and then I can choose a visit type. Here, I'm gonna choose anyone who visit a comparison or a competitor and alternatives page. Once I select that, I'm gonna go down here and visitor location. I'm gonna say, I'm just looking for people from the United States. And now I'm gonna go one step further. I'm actually gonna go into my Salesforce sync into accounts. And I'm gonna say, I wanna exclude any accounts that are either competitors or customers. This is data coming directly from my CRM system, directly into Zoom Info. So that now I can easily say, look, I wanna go prospect to the people who visited my G2 page, but I don't wanna prospect companies that are already customers of mine. Let's just exclude them right off the bat. So now I've got this perfect list of companies. These are companies that, that visited my G2 page that are not customers of Zoom Info. And now I wanna say, okay, that's great. I've got this great company list. What do I do now? Well, now I wanna target the buyers at those companies who are most likely to uh, buy my products and services. I click contacts here in my main filters. I've already created a buying committee. Uh, this is a setting inside of Zoom Info that pre-selects the key buyers within your account. So now I one click select that. And now I've got the list of the key buyers at the accounts that have visited my G2 page that have compared my products or services or looked at competitors who are not customers of Zoom Info. Now, what do I wanna do from here? Well, there's a lot I can do. I can create a workflow. So I can say, hey, anytime a new contact or a new company is added to this search, so anytime a new company that's not in this list visits my G2 page, add them to, to this motion, add them to this list. And this motion can be, hey, when a new contact gets added, I wanna to export to Salesforce. I wanna to export to my marketing automation system, my CRM, uh, my CRM system, my sales automation system, and automatically run a campaign. If I'm in our marketing OS product, I can say anytime a new company shows up here, start a display ads campaign, a social media campaign directly against those companies. So here I can also send a not notification. Hey, notify the sales rep who owns this account in Slack, in email. It's super powerful, it's one click away, and this is what our customers have been asking us for. Hey, intent data is super powerful, but ultimately I have to take action on it. And I need to take action on it against the buyers at the companies who are potential customers of my products and services. Bring G2 data in, exclude your customers, find the buying committee, run your motion. Thanks a lot for joining me.